Hi there, it's Carrie from Stamp with CT. Welcome. It's time for our Facebook Live, you guys. So excited to be here with you this little bit cloudy Wednesday morning. I will wait just a second to see if anybody can join me live. But if you're watching the replay, please say hello. Type in replay. Just helps me know who my videos have reached. And if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you'll leave a comment. Hit that like button. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate that. So I have a fun card layout for you this morning. But before we get started with that, I want to remind you that Celebration only has two weeks left. So 15 days left of Celebration. If you are not familiar with Celebration, we'll talk about that a little bit. But it is an awesome promotion that Stampin' Up! usually offers just once a year. And they brought it to us twice this year. So exciting. Hi, Becky. Good morning. You found me. Okay, it looks like a couple people are hopping on, so very glad you're here with me this morning. We're gonna make some cute cards. I think you're gonna love this layout. I just learned it this past weekend. I attended a demonstrator event that was a training. We learned a lot about business, but anytime there's a Stampin' Up! event, there has to be stamping presentations, right? And there's challenges, so we had some color challenges, some layout challenges, and I'd never done this layout before, so I made a card for the challenge in the event, but then I also wanted to make some cards with you, so we're going to do that this morning. So before we get started, let's talk a little bit about Celebration. So it is an awesome promotion that Stampin' Up! is offering right now. If you don't have a Celebration brochure, let me know because I can get one for you. This brochure, no prices inside because everything inside is free. So there's beautiful, the Be Dazzling paper, the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper, uh, the Deer paper, I think it's Peaceful Prints. So many nice, awesome free gifts with purchase. So if you spend $50 or $100, um, you get something at every $50 mark and you can choose something to purchase from the annual catalog or the mini catalog clearance rack it doesn't matter anything that you purchase counts towards that $50 mark and gets you a free gift with purchase now there's also um, this awesome stamp set is free to host and so you can host in a couple of different ways uh, you can get some catalogs from me and just share with your friends and gather orders. And when that reaches $300, you would be eligible for this stamp set free, in addition to all of the other host benefits. Or you can host your own order. Sometimes people actually do spend $300 at a time. And so if that's something you can do, not everybody can, but some people can, then that would qualify you for this stamp set. And again, you still get your stamping rewards on top of that free product just for hosting a party or an order. And then we have our awesome joining special. So Stampin' Up! It's always amazing to be a demonstrator. Um, the starter kit is just $99 and you get to choose $125 worth of product. You get a free paper pumpkin kit. You get free shipping on your starter kit. It's a great deal. But through the 30th of September, you also get to add a bundle of your choice. And I think there's about a dozen bundles that you can choose from. So that's between a $30 and $60 value on top of your starter kit. Then from there, you save 20%. So if you just want to even give it a try, you would be a demonstrator until the 1st of February, even if you made no other purchases. And one of the perks of that is you get to be part of demonstrator groups on Facebook, see all kinds of inspiration, and you get to be part of our team. So we are the Super Inspired Stampers. I think there's 22, 23 of us right now. It's an awesome group. We had our team meeting last night on Zoom, and we got to thinking we have team members now that live in Michigan. We have someone in West Virginia. We have someone in Arkansas. Illinois and Texas. So isn't that cool that we can connect through crafting all over the U.S.? I love that. 
Okay, that's it for the commercial. Let's get to crafting. I do have a couple other things I want to talk to you about this morning, but we'll do that a little bit later. So the first thing that I'm going to be using, I know you may be getting tired of this, but it's just so cute and we don't have very long before Halloween, so I want to make lots of Halloween projects and give you inspiration. The Frightfully Cute stamp set and then the Cute Halloween Designer Series paper. It's a six by six stack. Super, super cute Halloween paper. You may hear Oliver's little toenails. He's in here with me this morning. Super cute paper, and we're gonna make a great project with that this morning. Let me move that out of the way. And each of these projects, we're going to be using an embellishment, so I thought that would be really fun. Let me see, I forgot to get my Take Your Pick tool out, but I've got it now. So we are going to start with a basic black card base, and it is our standard card base that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, so let me just burnish the fold. And then, you guys know we need a light colored panel for the inside, so we've got some basic white, and it is five and a quarter by four, so that it mats into this, I guess it layers into this, and it gives you that border all the way around. And just our standard measurement so far, right? You're with me so far, no problem. And then I have some other pieces. We're going to put a piece of basic white on the front, and then I do have a piece of that cute Halloween designer series paper. I love these spooky little houses. And we're going to put it over here and have an equal border to the top and to the left. So let's adhere this down. Most of the time I have a sample for you but today, I don't. You're just gonna have to follow along and see this cute layout. And you'll have to let me know if you've ever seen this one before. I had not, and I love it. It's going to go in my layout idea book so that I can use it again. Now, I have a strip of old olive cardstock. I'm just pulling the colors from the designer series paper, so basic black, basic white, and old olive. And I'm going to bring it over here to the right side. And I want to say I cut this at like an inch and a quarter. Yeah, I think so. By five and a quarter. So that's going to give me that border on that side. And then we're just going to add this to our card front. So easy peasy so far, right? So I did attend that demonstrator event this weekend. I don't have that super straight, but I may have to leave it that way. Uh, we had lots of fun, and I learned so much. It's amazing to me that even though we can't meet in person, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that because it looks, it looks yucky. And even though we can't meet in person, these virtual events are lots of fun too. Y'all get to see me mess up for what, week number three in a row? Ooh, I'm killing it. Okay, let's put a little bit more glue. Let's try this again. Get it lined up better this time. I hope I didn't cut my paper crooked. Do y'all ever do that? I can't be the only one that ever does that. Okay, I think we're better off this time. Yes, that was worth, that was definitely worth fixing. So now, I use my layering circle skies probably every day. I craft most every day because, you know, it's my job. I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world, huh? Get to craft every day. But I use these layering circle dies pretty much every day. And so I have gone ahead and stamped some images and we're just going to layer these onto a slightly larger scallop circle from black cardstock. It's not much of a border, but when you put it on your card, it really does make a difference and makes that pop. So we're gonna go ahead and layer those on. So this is 
that's frightfully cute stamp set I love the images from this set so very cute and this says batty for you cute cute and of course we have to have our cute little witch so we are going to let those dry for just a second and then we'll bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'll probably put a couple, oops, I messed that witch up. I didn't let her dry. Let's get that line back up and let her dry. So you can probably tell what my layout is for you now. It's awesome. So in the challenges, there's usually a thread and we go back in and post our projects. It's so much fun to see what everybody makes. Alrighty, so we're going to pop this one look right about there. And then I want to come in with my witch and bring her down here because I want to get her right about in the same position. Maybe move her up a tiny bit. I'm kind of using some landmarks on my DSP to try to get it lined up. And last, we'll pop this little baddie for you on. I think I've got it spaced out fairly evenly, but isn't that cute, you guys? I love this layout. Now let's bring in some of these matte black dots. These are a really fun embellishment, and I've used a ton of them over the past probably year or so. I think they've been out that long. And I'm just gonna put a couple right up here just to give it a cute little accent. I wanted to pull out an embellishment for each of the cards that we're making today. So there's card number one. Isn't it adorable? I've got my witch flying kind of crooked though, don't I? Let's fix her over there, girl. Okay, that's better. Okay, there is card number one with the super cute little three circles and such a fun, easy layout. All right, let's work on a card that focuses on the Whimsical Trees stamp set. It's Darling and then the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. So, so pretty. And what I love is it's a non-traditional Christmas paper. So you've got some beautiful colors in here and that polished pink just really adds a pop of color. Such a nice stamp set. So we're going to work with that one next. And this card is gonna be oriented a little bit differently only because when I went to score it, I cut it instead, but it's gonna work just fine. I know a lot of you do like to make the top fold cards. So this piece of paper is just 11 inches by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. So we still end up with the same size card base. It just opens a little bit differently. So of course we've got a black, not a black, a dark color cardstock. We've got Mossy Meadow. So we're going to add our inside panel like we always do so that it's much easier to write a sentiment on a dark color. It's pretty much impossible. And I just feel like it finishes the card off, so I encourage you guys to do this. Of course, if you want to stamp on the inside, you certainly can, that would be cute. And then I wanted to use this piece of designer series paper that had kind of little holly berries and I guess it can go either way, but I love the fact that it was Mossy Meadow, Mint Macaron, and Blushing Bride. Those little berries are brush, Blushing Bride color. Doing this one just a little bit differently, I'm going to put a full piece of um, Mint Macaron cardstock as my layer, and then I can add my piece of Designer Series paper over it. So I won't have a little strip on the right side, but it's going to give us a very similar effect. And I like showing y'all different ways that we can do things. 
So, of course, if you create a card using this layout, I would love to see it. You can leave a picture. Ooh, I've got some. I need to change my trimmer blade. And I'll show you in just a little bit also some ways to deal with that. Okay, I'm going to pop this on right here. I just love this paper. It's just so pretty. I put that on the wrong side, y'all. Yeah, I put it on the wrong side, but it's going to work. It's still going to work just fine. That may be a happy accident right there. So I did go ahead and stamp Joy, and I used polished pink. I've got some Blushing Bride cardstock pieces here that we're going to mat with, and then I stamped the little ornaments and this cute, cute little tree with mint macaron. So we're going to pop these on. I kind of like that I, quote, messed that up. Happy accident, that's what we'll call it, right? We can make it work. Oops, grabbed the wrong one. There we go. So definitely if you recreate a card using this layout, please share a picture with me. I love it when y'all do that. And I know a lot of times you recreate these projects and that's part of what I love doing. My, um, my design style and aesthetic, I've kind of embraced the fact that it's pretty much um, clean and simple. That's just what I'm drawn to. And it's what I love sharing with you guys because I really want you to be able to recreate any of the projects that I share with you. I want you to be crafting and, and knowing that you can pull out your supplies and make something awesome in just a few minutes. Now, I love WOW projects and, you know, I love those too, but I've just come to know that my aesthetic is really clean and simple, and I am fine with that. Okay, so that's my joy, and I want that to be in the middle. I want my ornaments up at the top. So let's come in. I didn't get that glued down very well. One second. And just another little dot of liquid glue there. Okay, so I want the ornaments towards the top. And then I want the tree at the bottom. I don't want a floating tree in the air. Pop that on. And then I want my joy right in the center. I think that's going to look really cute. I think I got them pretty well lined up. There we go. Isn't that adorable? So now we want to put a couple of embellishments. And I thought I would pull in champagne rhinestones because we've got the polished pink and the blushing bride. And I just love the way that these rhinestones help pull color. So let's see. We may even put them, hmm, I don't know. Gosh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put them right down here. Just pop a couple on to give it a little bit of shine. We love shiny, right? I think I'm just gonna do those two right there at the bottom. Okay, and that finishes card number two. It turned out cute, didn't it? Now you could absolutely add Wink of Stella to your ornaments and your tree if you wanted to. Okay, we've got one more project to make. And this time, I am sharing a paper that I don't think I've shared with you yet and a stamp set that I've made just a couple cards with. It's called Well Defined. We are going to be using the gratitude sentiment. And let me bring it closer where I can read it. it the um, definition of this, it says, the feeling um, in my heart when I think about you. So that's a beautiful sentiment that you've got holiday, Christmas, Halloween, really neat stamp set. So that's where our sentiment is coming from. 
And then I've got the Blackberry Beauty Designer Series paper. Now, when the catalog first launched, this was actually, I believe, on back order. So, I have not had this super long, but it's beautiful paper. Absolutely stunning. You've got Rich Razzleberry, Blackberry Bliss, gosh, Cajun Craze, Early Espresso. And I love that there's foiling on every sheet on one side. Whoops, let me see if I can get that to flip over so you can see the back side of that. Beautiful, beautiful paper. So this time, we're going to start with an early espresso card base. And I want to burnish that score line. We're back to our eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. It's what I typically do, but sometimes, you know, you gotta mix it up. Sometimes if you cut your paper wrong, but it all works out, y'all. Okay, so we'll put this, and after I cut this, I thought very vanilla would have been really pretty for this fall card for the envelope and the inside panel, but it's not what I did, and it's gonna be okay. White is fine, too. And then I've got a larger piece of um, cinnamon cider, so five, um, five and a quarter by four. But I think this time we're actually going to orient things the other way. So I wanted to show you that we can do that. And we're going to be using Blackberry Bliss for our scallop circles. And we're going to be using three pieces of this gorgeous designer series paper as that focal image with our circles. So let's get those adhered together. So just one more way that we can use this layout. Try to get that centered better so we get a little bit of a border. And I'll let those dry while I work on my stamping. Isn't this paper just fabulous? So, so pretty. And you know, if you want to create cards for fall, now really is the time to be picking up your supplies and creating so that you're ready. Okay, one more piece of this designer series paper. I just used the B side of one of these patterns. So pretty. Okay, let's set that aside. Let me bring my stamp in. And some early espresso ink. And this is still the old style ink pad. It works perfectly fine. So that's what I use. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide, I think I want my sentiment toward the bottom. So we'll come right down here. Stamp my gratitude. Isn't that pretty? Love it. And then we're going to add this to our card front. Cinnamon cider and early espresso and blackberry bliss. What a beautiful fall combination. So sometimes we can just look to nature and see the beautiful color combinations that we can use in our cards. Or just look on the back of the package of your designer series paper, you guys. That's, that's a great tip. And it's what I do all the time. Okay, we're going to, of course, pop them on with dimensionals. Because when in doubt, you pop it up. I wish I could see your comments while we're doing the video, but do know that I go back and I read every one, and I do try to respond to each of them as well. I appreciate y'all so much for being here with me. I'm gonna turn this around so I can somewhat get things straight, but I think I need to move over just a little bit. I definitely want this one in the center. It's better, I think, to add that, that one both of the sides first, then it helps get 
things lined up better. Oh, that paper. I wish you guys could see it in person. It's fabulous. And we'll pop that one right in the center there. And see how that looks. A little bit wonky. We can fix it though. I haven't really pushed down on those dimensionals yet, so I'm able to kind of reposition. I think that looks pretty good, you guys. So just put a little pressure on those. Now, this time I decided to pull in some of the uh, brushed metallic adhesive back embellishments. They're really pretty. Oops. And I may come all the way over here and just add a couple. They want to stick to my finger. Maybe even, well, I don't know. We'll go this way. I may add three this time, you guys. These are lovely if you have not seen them in person. They're fabulous embellishments. Again, let me look at it. A lot of times I'll turn things upside down. I don't know why. That just helps my eye see it a little bit better and see that it's straight. I think that one's still up a little bit too far. Okay. So there is card number three. I thought that turned out pretty. And then our Christmas version, top bowl card, and then our Halloween version. So spooky. Frightfully cute, right? Okay, those are our projects for today. Hope you enjoyed those. And again, if you recreate this layout, please share it with us. I would love to see what you make. Now stick with me for just a couple more minutes because we need to do our giveaway and I have a piece of happy mail. Let me show you that right now. My amazing friend, Mary White, dropped this off to me. It's a beautiful card using the hydrangea stamp set. So lovely. And I love that she stamped the sentiment, this nice bold thank you on the side of the card. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful job, Mary. Thank you so much. You made my day. It's lovely. And then we've got our giveaway. So last week, our giveaway, if you left a comment, gave a heart, liked, or shared the video, then you were entered for a chance to win the giveaway from last week. And it's a package of basic pearls. If you'll remember, we colored those with our Stampin' Blends. So you can do that. You can use them just the way they come. They're an amazing embellishment to always have in your craft stash. It's what I recommend. These are gonna go out to my sweet friend, Diana Hughes. So congratulations, Diana. I'll put that in your packet that I have coming to you soon. So be looking for your prize. And then this week, I thought I would choose these wonderful gems to be our prize. These actually carried over from last year's holiday catalog, and I'll bring them a little closer so you can see. They are sparkly, red, and clear, but there's a gold cast to them. Just lovely. So this is our giveaway for this week. If you would like to be entered for a chance to win, just leave a heart, um, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you, and I love that feedback. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys to help me with is I've been doing three cards. We've kind of been doing a layout and showing you different ways to do it. If that has been beneficial to you, if you like that, please leave me, me a comment and let me know with that feedback. So it it kind of helps me for planning for the future. If it's not something that you like, tell me that too. I, I've got some tough skin. I can handle it if you don't like that. Um, if there's something that you would love to see, leave a comment and I'll see if I can't accommodate that kind of a guest request. And then I also, before I go, want to share with you a couple of reminders. Stamp class is this Saturday, the what, 18th. And so it is in my CT's Craft and Connect group. It's a virtual class. I do have probably one or two packets left. So I can get that out to you if you're interested. 
um, let me know. Just send me a message. But we are using the cute Halloween, and we're making some treats, and we're making some cards. I think at least one card and maybe three treats, if I remember correctly. So I would love to have you join us over in CT's Craft and Connect. I can leave the link um, below the video. And then we also have Cardstock Club, and it started last month. And today is the deadline for September. So I thought since I had one package left that hasn't been picked up yet, I'd show you how I do my Cardstock Club. So basically what we're doing is sharing a package of each of the colors of cardstock in a collection. So August was the Brights collection. So you can see it was like a rainbow of uh, cardstock. Makes me so happy. Everyone that participates gets six sheets of each color in the collection. So 60 sheets of cardstock in this package. And then Dale and I make this little color guide for each of the packages. So. You can keep your collections together when you get ready to use some of the cardstock. You've got these color uh, little swatches that you can match up. And it, that's just part of what we do for Cardstock Club. So this month, September, we're doing the in colors. So you would get six pieces of each of the eight and a half by 11 in colors. And it really gives you a nice selection. If you participate every month, August through December, you do receive a gift from me of 10 sheets of basic black, basic white, and vanilla cardstock. If you wanna just do one month, that's fine too. So if you pick it up from me, it's $28, and if you want it shipped in a flat rate envelope, then I believe it's 30, 35. So let me know if you're interested in Cardstock Club. Again, today is the cutoff, and I'd love to have you join us. It's a great way to build up your supplies of cardstock. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. I've enjoyed spending a few minutes with you. I am so grateful for you. That gratitude card, that goes out to all of you. So grateful and thankful for all of you. And this is why I do what I do, is because of you and because of my team of Super Inspired Stampers. So I will see you again next week, Wednesday, 10 a.m., and I'll have some more fun projects for you. Thank you.